Voice Diary, October 16th. Sound of Languages. Sound of Languages is like the human voice and then from the sound, our mouth, from our mouth, we make sound. We can make the uh, same sound, for example, vowel sound or a consonant, and then mostly in human makers, and then intonation, or when we speak past, and then we make uh, some rhythm, each word, combined word. So, and then that is uh, uh, sound of languages. So sound of languages, uh, we call pronunciation. The pronunciation means uh, how we make sound using languages. So, and then today I talk about how to improve the pronouns uh, in uh, learning foreign languages. Actually, that is a very difficult part. And then because uh, when, until we get familiar with the, the sound of languages and uh, that we learn uh, as a foreign language or second language, and then and getting familiar with the very important, just like a baby, and then baby getting familiar with the sound and they following and each word and with us making sound. So, and then the making sound looks like it's a mimicking and following. Sound of languages are very, very um, wide. For example, I make a sound in English, and then I have been learning using English for many years. So, and then I get familiar with English, and I listening a lot uh, when I use the video, and especially nowadays uh, videos from YouTube. Then, then I get familiar with uh, some word that that is how we say our listening. Actually, the function of sound of languages are two effects: comprehension with ears, expression with the mouth. So, and then comprehension with the ears, getting familiar with the sound, and then expression of the mouth, and then mimicking or following. For doing that, we should know about uh, how can we observe the sound of the languages, uh, each language. For example, I learned Vietnamese, and then Vietnamese have the six tones, uh, like the Chinese language. Chinese have four tones. These six tones are very important in Vietnamese language because each tone has a different meaning. So, and then sound of languages are very complicated in this situation. So, and when we learn uh, one, uh, one of the languages in the world, there are so many languages. So, we should know about the unique way to learn, unique way to the, that languages. So, and then uh, we should uh, jump into the sound of languages. So, and then it's uh, one of the part of uh, learning languages to make good pronunciation. And then, and so, and then how can we get, can we get to have the um, half, half from the AI? Yes, I think uh, uh, I've been uh, making uh, sound of the languages and with the, native speaker who do online language exchange with me and then um, they help me and then, but how can we um, divide it and then make a sound each word? So, and then the sound of languages are unique and the sound of languages are only vowels and then uh, only vowels and then combination of the uh, each vowels and combination of uh, the consonant. The two combinations have some unique rules. 
when uh, each language, each word, and uh, so in the sentence, uh, so we get familiar with that. And then if we want to do get familiar with the sound of languages, and then we should train about it to make good pronunciation. Sound of languages are very important. So, and then when we make good pronunciation, we should get familiar with the sound of languages. We should practice the uh, sound of languages. How can we do with the AI this uh, AI? How can we make the sound of languages to learn pronunciation properly? And then uh, make uh, each vowel and then um, consonant and then how can we and vowel and consonant and how can we uh, make some sound sound of languages sound of languages are important and then and, uh, we make us using vowel vowel sound and consonant sound and then and we can uh, properly is using and the sound of languages to get a good pronounce and to get a good pronounce and then we can use the sound of languages to get good pronounce so and then uh here the sound of languages are very important so making good sound of languages and we should get familiar with the sound and then and we can use it with the ai then and we can use each languages the vowel and consonant of combination of vowel and consonant and then we can practice with the language partners and then each language have a combination about that kind even when we practice the sound of languages we can get familiar with uh, some words uh, and representative words and or defining words that are strategy to learn or subreading vocabulary when we jump up to the world and then we can go to the places places go to the world and then we can go to the sentence. When we get, well, get we can get a sentence, uh, we can get a paragraph, short paragraph. And then we can get a conversation and we can get a long stories. Uh, we can get uh, some normal speed that just speed that when we speak and people do in, and then getting familiar with sound of language. It means the sound of language is uh, very complicated in the sentence and in normal life, in, for example, in academy, and then in the market, at the market, or the each, the friends, or with the family, and then the conversation in normal life, the conversation at the market, the situation is quite different. So, and then we should know about as a familiar with some, and then what, and then as a foreign languages, your communication language also, also the same to, to read is uh, reading is a very good function to understand about the sound of languages. And first, we should know about the uh, uh, sound of language, getting familiar with the sound and then keeping listening, keeping listening to get the sound and better to uh, comprehend and then helpful of the reading. And then only listening, yeah, it's possible and then it's uh, worse and then in the same way. But we want to learn uh, quickly uh, by using AI. And then so uh, we are uh, using AI. AI. How can we learn quickly by using AI? AI, how can we learn quickly by using AI? AI, how can we quickly learn uh, by using AI? For example, sound of languages and then to understand about sound language. <clears throat> okay. Two, three, four, almost four.
The sound of language is like a human voice from our mouths. We create sounds such as a vowel sound or consonants. These sounds form the core of language. In addition, when we speak, and we use intonation, rhythm, and combined words to form meaningful speech. This is the essence of what we call pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to how we produce sound when we using the language. Today, I want to talk about how to improve pronunciation and learning a foreign language. This can be very challenging, especially until we become familiar with the sound of the language we are learning. For many of us, learning a foreign language or even a second language can feel like learning to speak as a child, baby, for example, listening to the sound around them before. They begin to imitate those sounds similarly. When learning a language, we need to listen carefully to the sound before trying to mimic them. In my case, I've been learning English for many years, and I have become more familiar with its sound by listening to videos, particularly on YouTube, this listening apps, and with the, what we call passive listening, where we unconsciously observe the sound of the language. How does this help? The sound of language affects both the comprehension, hearing, and understanding, and expression producing sound. As a learner, we needed to be familiar with the sound we hear and also practice mimicking those sounds, how can we improve the pronunciation using technology? One method is using AI tools or language exchange platform where a native speaker have the correct pronunciation. When learning foreign languages like Vietnamese, which has six tones, pronunciation becomes even more critical because a single sound can have multiple meanings based on tone. So AI can help us break down words, consonants, and vowels, guiding us through the correct sound combination by practicing with AI. We can learn how to produce the correct pronunciation of each word, for example, when we combine vowel and consonant, AI tools can help us to refine the sound, improving our pronunciation. Over time, we move from the practicing single words to sentence paragraphs and eventually full conversation. As we continue practicing and listening, we become more familiar with the normal speech pattern in everyday settings, what is at the market, on the beach, and with a friend or in family or conversation, reading aloud. Um, is also an excellent way to practice pronunciation and understand how sound fit together in a language. In summary, to improve uh, pronunciation, you should listen carefully, practice constantly, and use the AI tool to speed up the process by doing so. We can enhance both our comprehension and expression skills in any language. Question and answer. Now, what is the importance of pronunciation in language learning? Pronunciation is essential because it helps us produce the correct sound that form words and sentences. Good pronunciation ensures clear communication and help the listeners understand us better. How can AI help to improve pronunciation? AI tools can analyze our pronunciation and give feedbacks on how to improve it. They can break down the words into vowels and consonants and offer guided practice, making it easier to mimic native sounds. Why is listening important in learning a new language? Listening helps us become familiar with the sound, the rhythm, and the intonation of a language. It's a first step before we can produce the sound ourselves. How can practice with native speakers help? Native speakers provide a real life example of how words should sound and can give immediate feedback on pronunciation, helping learners to make quick adjustments. Or do tones play in language like Vietnamese or Chinese? In tone, tonal languages and then each tone can change the meaning of a word, and therefore so learning the correct tone is crucial to avoid the misunderstandings. Can we learn pronunciation faster using AI? Yeah, AI can accelerate the learning process by providing instant feedback, personalized exercise, and opportunities for repetitive and practice, which have to in mastering pronunciation more quickly.
okay, so go to English. Nhát, nhát kỳ gión mò, này mô mi tạo, tăng mô mi, âm thanh, âm thanh của mô mi. Âm thanh của nông nữ dông, nữ dông nội của con nhội, chữ mến của chúng ta, chúng ta tạo là âm thanh. Ta hẳn như âm nguyên, âm hút, sự âm nhưng âm thanh này là tốt lối lỗ lối của nông nữ. Ngôi giả, khi chúng ta nói, chúng ta sử dụng nữ dữ, nít dữ, và kết khổ chắc cứ để thâu là lối một bộ ý nghĩa. Đại dân là bản chất thu tư mà chúng ta gọi là tác tâm. Các ấm để tập tìm các chúng ta tạo là âm thanh thì sử dụng hôm nay tôi muốn nói về các cái thiền phát thần để hút ngồi như. Đây là một phần giác cổ thần. Tất nhiên là đồ dân khi chúng ta quên mỗi âm thanh của đồng ý mà chúng ta đang hỏi đôi với mỗi Về khóc ngôn ngữ hay à, tạm chí là ngôn ngữ tư hại có thể dùng như về khóc nói của trẻm Ví dụ trẻ à, nhỏ nhẹ các âm thanh xong khoan rất thì bắt đầu bắt sử dụng ngàn thần đồ Chúng tự thì à, hất mong ngữ chúng ta không lắng nghe Cảm thần, các cảm thần trước khi khó khăn bất chư sự giống chúng hợp cả cơ thể. À, tôi đã hợp kiện ảnh nhiều năm và tôi đã quên thứ không với các cảm thần của nó. Và các nghe các video đặc biệt là trên YouTube biết lắng nghe nay dù ít à dỗ cây mà chúng ta gọi là nhé tư dòng nội chúng ta vô sức khắp tư âm tan quả nông nghiệp như này dù ít như thế nào âm tan quả nông nghiệp ăn tuôn đèn chúng ta viết hiếu nhé và hiếu và đề đắc Chào là âm tạng, lá nhồi, học chúng ta căn cuối, giúp bởi âm tạng mà chúng ta nhé và chúng ta chức hẳn bắt trước những âm tạng đó. Làm thế nào để không nhé trước cái tiền phát ảnh? Một phương pháp là sử dụng cả công cụ AI hoặc các nền là thằng cháu rồi nồng ngư, nồi nhối được bằng nhiều cơ thể trước từ phát ảnh. Thì phóng nữ, nông nữ, nữ kiện về cội sau thanh điều và tham trồ nên chắc quan trọng vì mỗi ảnh có thể mang nghĩa khác nhà. Dỗ độ, ai ai có thể giúp chúng ta phát thắc trực, thú ẩm và nguồn ẩm, nguồn ẩm và phương dạng. Chúng ta thắc kết thúc ẩm thần tương thật tương tương thật mang các tư liệu thật của AI chúng ta có thể học phát nam đúng cụ chứng tự chứng tự ví dụ khi chúng ta kết thúc các ngũ nam và à ngũ nam bảo và phú âm phát sang à ngũ nam ngũ ngũ nam ngũ nam và phú âm các công cụ AI có thể chứ Chúng ta xin xin các cảm thần cải thiện sự lưu đồ. Điều tối giá, chúng ta tên thư vẹt luận thác từ đôn đền thảo đôn bản. Và cuối cũng là các quốc hội thôi hồng chứng. 
ปีจุงตาเทพซึดล้วนถาปาแล้วนี่แหละจุงตาเซโชเนนควรทุกคนบอยคัดเมาส์ร้อยน้อยหนึ่งจุงจองกัดจิงท้องทั้งไหนยู